Everybody got my stuff loaded up behind me again. This time we're gonna hit the road and we're back on the North American Deer Slam, going to Northeast Colorado, going after a Plains Whitetail. I've mule deer hunted in the same area before, but never whitetail hunted, so looking forward to this. Obviously in the plains, they don't have the deer density that we do in the east. There's a lot of spot and stalk, just glassing, getting on these draws and so forth, looking down. Been looking forward to this one for a long time. Off we go. Well, just made it into Colorado. We've got a bit of a drive to make it to camp. We're gonna be hunting in Northeast Colorado, going after a whitetail. And as part of the deer slam, this is actually a subspecies of the Plains whitetail. Basically, it's uh, Plains whitetail consists of North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, and Wyoming in that kind of region. Uh, been looking forward to this one for a while. Gonna be hunting with Comanche Wilderness Outfitters, Scott Limmer. Um, Scott's been guiding in Colorado for a long time. He actually guides for mountain goat, sheep, moose, um, big mule deer, and I mean big mule deer, elk, whitetail. There's actually gonna be another moose hunter in camp with us this week, so that'll be pretty sweet. But I'm gonna get there tonight, opening day's tomorrow. Can't wait for that first sunrise. see the deer. Okay. So we just work our way that way slowly. Okay. Sounds good. as it kind of lights it up with the leaves starting to turn. One of the moose hunters in camp did shoot this morning, so we're gonna continue up here just glassing down and go take a look at that. Kind of excited, it sounds like it's a pretty big bull. Take a look at the moose that was shot over here. Just driving up, looks like a giant. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Good job. Congratulations, Jason. Oh, buddy. Good job. I guess you guys were right, it was broken. Broke his third. Third tire off, yeah. He's uh, 45 and a half. Beautiful. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Would have been him. Yeah, broke that bad boy off over there.
set up on the ridge where we were a couple days ago. One of the moose hunters that are in camp, a guide, spotted a big 10 point late last night with about 10 minutes left of light. So I'm down in this part of the river system. So we're up here hopefully to catch them this morning. We'll probably get pretty aggressive and actually head down there here in a little bit just because I don't think he's on his feet very long. And there's only, there's not very many big willow systems right here. So he's gotta be tucked in here. He just probably this time of year, just in there almost all daylight and just up on his feet at night. So we're gonna utilize our time this morning and probably get just semi-aggressive on him and then back out and come back here tonight if we don't see him this morning. Oh, there's five. There's a little one in the back. I can see does. Two does and three fawns. Yeah, that's a pretty good ratio. I'll take it. There's a buck bedded right there. See the, the big tree? Yeah. Come down from the base of that. There's going to be some scrub. Looks like popples with no leaves on it. Behind those, he's bedded up there. Oh yeah, I can see his head there, right? See it's his neck like patch. Dead branches right in front of him. Yep. Ooh, that I think that's the one from last night. He looks super tall. That definitely. He's definitely a ten. He's laying there. Um, we got this. Willow here, we could back the truck up behind it and then you could get out. Yep, that'll work. It's just over 200. Let me, get a, <coughs> let me hide the truck here. I'll just stay put and you get out. Yep. this wind swirling like this. I'm gonna just use there and crawl if he's bedded when he's there. I'm gonna... if he's bedded, I'm gonna just take that shot and see what we got, okay? So you just get set there. I'll crawl in there after I cross the gate. He's behind the tree. You on him? Yes. Hurry. I can't see him. He's behind the brush. Well, that worked out perfect. Spotted him as we were actually driving down to where the guy saw him last night. He was bedded right up underneath some willows able to crawl, use this willow, get within 200 yards. And he actually looked way bigger when he stood up than what he did bedded. He looks like a big 10, super tall. So we're gonna go down there and take a look at it. Oh, awesome. Wow. Not tippy. Oh, wow. Bonus. That is awesome. That's a cool awesome. That is a sweet buck. Didn't even see that. Plains whitetail in Colorado. North Park whitetail. North Park whitetail. <laughs> There's a lot of times you have ground shrinkage when you walk up on whitetails. This is definitely not one. Correct. Look at this hair. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Look at this coat's just that beautiful coming out of summer. North Central Colorado, just below the Wyoming border. And 
in the moose country, we got us a big whitetail. Yeah, we did. We've been seeing a couple big ones here the last couple years and thought we'd give it a try. Worked that out great. That's awesome. That's a cool buck. That is an awesome buck. <laughs> that is sweet. <laughs> Part of the North American Deer Slam kind of brings me all over the place into different areas and looking at the Plains Whitetail, it's North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, Wyoming, and Scott talked me into this crazy idea coming up here for one. And it turned out, look at this giant of a whitetail. 